Yo, what is up guys? It's Jake from Sleepy in Savannah. Today reviewing the Apex Tactical Apex Glock Enhancement Kit uh, for the upgraded trigger kit. So basically decided to purchase this after a couple of shooting competitions. It's on my personal Gen 5 Glock. Very noticeable right there. Um, first thing first before we dive into the review show you guys that I am indeed operating with a clear Glock and you can see the chamber there, no mag in, Let's drop the slide. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, welcome back. Uh, we'll kind of cover some admin notes. First thing first, obviously with the flashlight running a TLR um, one Streamlight flashlight, I got Trijicon suppressor high night sights on this. Uh, this is a Glock 19 Gen 5 and I have a Hollow Sun uh, 507C on it. So that's all the, oh, and then I have this little like plug in the, in the grip, but that's how I run this Glock, and the most recent addition to all the specs that I'm about to list out in every video is this Apex Enhancement Kit for the Glock Gen 5. So some notes on this, looking at the website, it looks to go for about 140 bucks. I picked it up for a little cheaper from a local gun store uh, in my area. I highly recommend you go that route. I think I got like uh, 30 uh, dollar discount or forty dollar depending on how much it is for online. I paid like a hundred flat for it. I think one hundred ten. Um, some notes and specs that I'm reading, pulling straight from the Apex website. It reduces the trigger pull weight by approximately one pound. Reduces the trigger pre-travel overall uh, distance and reset distance. Smooth uptake and reset. Crisp trigger break. Center mounted pivoting. Safety maintains uh, factory safe values and direct drop in replacement parts, uh, no fitting required. Or actually, funny enough, on the website, it says not fitting required, but I'm assuming they mean no fitting. So, obviously, I bought this for the Gen 5, but 19, but there have triggers for all Glock generations. So, a few notes at this point in the review, I've not shot live ammunition for it. Uh, I went in, I didn't install this myself, so I can't give you a tutorial on how to do that, but the gun store that I bought it from, or the uh, gunsmith, not only did they give it to me for a pretty good deal, they also put in the uh, trigger free of charge. Pretty cool, because I bought it through them. I've only done dry firing drills with uh, this, but I mean, Pretty basic, as you can see from my Glock setup. This is all these upgrades are pretty basic. Like I've seen this Glock on plenty of YouTube videos. I've seen it at the range with literally this light, this optic. I mean, this is this is about as basic as you can get. But this trigger's pretty sweet, y'all. I'll be a hundred percent in dry fire, like phenomenal. So kind of based off of one of the points mentioned on there, it still retains the trigger safety, so you can't pull the trigger with uh, without compressing this the center part right here which I really like and as for the weight difference I could definitely notice it um before I, I looked at the specs I obviously looked at the specs right before hitting the record button um I knew I wanted an upgraded trigger because I'd been shooting a lot of competitions uh I've done a really bad job I was supposed to record the competitions and kind of break them down um, I think that I might do a video of that in the future but basically since our last video since we last spoke. I've shot two competitions, uh, had a blast, really wish I did videos on it, but you know, life, work, so here we are. Um, as for this trigger, I mean, it's a dream. So I've already cleared the weapon, so I, I am gonna, you know, pull the trigger here for dry fire. I've, I've been doing tons of dry firing with it, and I just, I love it. It's super, super smooth. The uh, distance to the trigger wall or whatever, uh, terminology wants 
basically nothing. It's just that. That movement, super short, I mean, less than a centimeter. And as for the pull, it's super crisp. I'll see if you guys can hear it. Yeah, super crisp. And as for the reset, just super crisp. Honestly, awesome. I can feel myself in dry fire getting faster uh, splits in between trigger pulls. Uh, because I use the Dry Fire Magazine, which is a product I may or may not review. I've owned it for, um, I'd say a year now and I love it. But basically it's this magazine you insert and you uh, you can pull the trigger multiple times in Dry Fire. I love it, highly recommend it. Uh, I can feel myself using a shot timer getting faster splits. Obviously I don't have any reliable data now and I didn't really record my splits with the old Glock trigger. So I can't really compare, but I feel faster with this trigger. And I recommend if uh, you guys plan on shooting any competitions um, with this trigger, uh, or with, with a Glock 19, especially in carry optics where you can upgrade your trigger, I highly recommend this one. I mean, already I can feel the difference, just how smooth it feels. Um, and it's honestly the trigger face itself. So right here is a lot wider and uh, just feels a lot better on my my uh, trigger finger so honestly really really loving this I mean I can't I can't praise it enough just based off of the uh, couple hours I put into dry firing with it yes I, I installed this yesterday and I've done like two hours of dry firing um obviously this gun for me is kind of like a do everything gun you know it's like a nightstand uh, carry and competition gun so I've really wanted to try to um, get the practice necessary before I go live with this and then get enough rounds through this new trigger live before I feel comfortable carrying it. I believe the stock lock trigger, and this is ignorance, I might be wrong, five pounds, this trigger is four pounds. So it's a nice even, I would say a competition trigger for a Glock 19, it's usually like two to three pounds. This is kind of a really good middle ground. Uh, it still retains a four pound trigger, uh, if I'm not mistaken, and you know, it's so it's lighter than the stock Glock, which was super heavy and had a su super long uptake on it. But also, you know, lightens it, but also keeps it so you can feel comfortable carrying it. You know, you don't have a super crazy light trigger that, you know, is liable to go off when you're concealed carrying this gun. Um, like I said, definitely excited to shoot some rounds through it uh, near, near the second half of this video when I do that. But honestly, I mean, love it. It's super, super crisp and uh, just feels really nice on my finger personally, kind of some of the stuff I've mentioned. Definitely think it's worth it if uh, you're looking to take your Glock to the next level, but still kind of keep it as a carry item. Um, and then one of the uh, final notes of it is you can see this pin right here, which uh, is part of the trigger system. I actually took this pin out because I was playing around with beaver tails uh, like months ago and I've shot multiple comp or basically all my competitions without this pin in and the gunsmith who installed this trigger for me was shocked that I didn't have any malfunctions. So just really kind of is a testament to Glock but highly recommend this trigger. Uh, if you go to the website and buy it, you can install it yourself pretty easily. They offered to do it. I'm not a gunsmith whiz uh, just yet, um, so I didn't, I didn't want to install it myself. Um, but super easy if you want to. They they make it super uh, helpful. Oh, another thing is you clean your guns before you take it to a gunsmith to install the trigger. I shot two competitions, probably a thousand rounds in train up and at the competition between the two. So within like three weeks, so I cleaned it shot a thousand rounds uh, between two competitions in the training days, train up for it. And then I brought it in and I just honestly slipped my mind to clean it because I'm lazy. But yeah, with the bench side of the uh, review coming to an end, I'd just like to say I, I freaking love this thing, but let's take it to the field. All six hits right there.
5.45. Pretty good, I'm looking for sub one second shots. I'm pretty happy with that, I really hope I'm recording. Yeah, I am. Really happy with that. Okay, dropped the shot on the far one, but 5.12. Oh, and let's look at the splits just for this, just for this review. I'm doing kind of pseudo in. So between five and six on this close target, I'm looking at a 3.37. And I'm not really trying to shoot that fast because it is still 15 yards away, but very happy with that, I'll be honest. Um, 0.37 is good. 0.37 is like, when I'm doing a build drill, that's, that's like my splits, so. I'm really trying, not even trying to push it on this, but we'll see. All right, guys, welcome back. We are at the live fire range or flat range or field portion of this review. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have a microphone, so sorry about the ambient noises that you hear from the wilderness. But as you can see here, we got technically four metal targets set up, but I'm only going to be shooting the three. So one right there at 10, 10 yards. One right there, or yeah, roughly, or 15, my bad. That one's at 15. That one right there is at uh, 20. And then the far one in the back is 25. Just something to work on, changing ranges. Uh, two shots on each is the drill I'm running. But this is my first time. Uh, weapons clear. Here, I'll show you guys. There you go. First time running the uh, Apex trigger that we are reviewing here today. So, you know, kind of just going to run it through a few drills and then give you my thoughts on how it shoots. Um, I've already shot my first rounds through it uh, over from my truck over there, probably about 30, and I like it. I only shot about 15 rounds through it, so you're not going to see my first uh, rounds through, but we'll run this drill a few times and see what's up. I'm just going to warm up, so just kind of work on, you know, no time, no pressure, just uh, six shots, two on each target. Uh, I'm going to start left to right and then maybe try right to left, but we'll see. I'm going to try right to left. So I got four rounds left in this magazine. I don't know if you guys can see me. Yeah, you can. A little bit there. I got four rounds left. I'm going to just dump them onto that closest target to me at 10. All right, see how this trigger shoots with its, uh, when it's quicker. I think I threw that last shot there. Uh, hammer down. But, yeah, honestly, with my first, let's see, like 20, 40 rounds through it, because I shot 20 out of this, reloaded this, this is a 15 rounder. I shot 15 earlier. Honestly, I can already notice a difference just with how the trigger feels and uh, how it shoots and how flat it is and how smooth the reset is. already feel a difference, which is really nice. I don't have to, uh, you know, compensate or conform or worry about uh, my trigger squeeze as much, uh, which may be a good or bad thing, but this trigger just honestly takes a lot of, a lot of work off of me as a shooter. I can really focus on side alignment and uh, other areas of my shooting. You know, because this, this uh, trigger reset is just a lot easier to kind of get a grip on. So honestly, kind of to conclude the video with uh, my final thoughts, and of course I'll maybe throw some more footage in here of me shooting with it, um, but I think it's great. 
I think it, uh, I've spent enough rounds, probably 10,000 rounds with the stock Glock trigger. I can really appreciate this one. So I think I would recommend if you're looking to upgrade your Glock trigger, either do this right off the bat and then you're just learning this trigger from day one or wait until you've had enough experience with the stock Glock trigger to get this one. But honestly, I mean, and I'll talk about it in other videos. I'm sure I'll bring it up and kind of go over my thoughts on it. But I think this is just a, just a necessity in the upgrade. You know, there's a reason, uh, hammers down, you can see, and empty. You know, there's a reason that this Glock setup is so universal with the uh, Hollow Sun and, and the Apex trigger. I mean, you know, this build is so popular because it works, because it's reliable. And I mean, this trigger is just awesome. I wish I did it sooner. That's my honest opinion. Uh, I think I've really been holding myself back in training. And now, today that I'm out here, I can really uh, take full advantage of it. So yeah, I highly recommend it, worth the $140. If you order from the website, it's $140. You can self-install, save some money there. Uh, but like I said, there's plenty of ways you can get it. I'd recommend going to a gun store trying to order it and then have them install it for you. It's what I'd highly recommend. But thank you guys so much for watching uh, and have a great day.